checking out InsidePunch.com. I'm Kimberly Sargent here at the Bad Manor in Athens, Georgia, where Fight Fusion MMA is taking full effect. Tonight, two Bantamweight top contenders are set to battle it out for a GFC title belt. Catching up here with Josh Morris, fighting for a GFC title belt, your first title belt, and it's vacant. No one has their name on it. What's going through your head? Um, right now, I just feel like the throne's mine, you know? It's, it's mine for the taking, and uh, I'm going to take it. This is a huge opportunity. What did you do to prepare for this mentally? Not even the physical part. Obviously, everyone does the hard training. Everyone does the cardio. What have you done mentally to prepare for this opportunity? Yeah, you know, I put in a hard camp, and we train hard, but the training part's over. Right now, I'm just here, you know, just doing what I love. Some people, you know, they're in the hospital. Some people are sick right now, and I, God's given me the strength to get here and fight, you know, and I'm just happy and just, just glad to be here, you know. It's my dream, and, uh, and I'm going to get in there, and, and I'm going to shine. Oh, well, ultimate goal, how do you see this fight ending? Um, he's going to get knocked out or broken. I mean, it's pretty simple. You know, I'm sure he'll put up a good fight. You know, he's a good little fighter, but, uh, yeah, you know, he's not on my level. So I'm going to go in there and probably, uh, it don't matter, standing up, he can get knocked out on the ground, he's going to get submitted. Whichever way it goes, it'll be, it'll be fun. I'm going to have a good time doing it. I love it. Well, best of luck. Knocked out or broken, you heard it first. That's Thanks. it. Signing off. Catching up with the ace samples here before the fight. Going for this title belt, first title belt. It's a vacant title belt. No one's held this title. What's going through your head? A lot of things. I've been, uh, I've really, really, really been training my ass off for about the last three years, and I've had title shots come up, and I thought I was ready, and then I didn't think I was ready, and I decided to wait, but now tonight's my night. Tonight I've, I've put three good hard years of being away from my wife, being away from my son, being a having to take off work, having to pay money every six months to get my license, and it's, it's time to pay off. It's, it's time to show it off. So you seem really calm. What goes through your head before you actually step into the cage? A lot of things. Uh, whether or not I'm going to win, how I'm going to strike. The main thing is to stay loose. It's like you're, not, if you're not striking fast if you're striking tight. If you're tensed up, then you can't swing your hands, you can't throw kicks, you can't do really anything that you need to be doing. Um, the main thing that goes through my mind before a fight is just, just be happy. I'm, uh, it's, it's more than a sport to me. It's something I, I plan on being a career of mine, and it's something that I'm happy to be here. I mean, win or lose, get the shit beat out of me or not, I'm more than happy to be here. Well, your opponent said he foresees this fight ending in either a KO submission or he's going to break you. I think that's an exact quote. How do you foresee this fight ending? Uh, you can't break me. I, I have an unbreakable will. It's it's. The only way you're going to stop me is to knock me out or submit me or break my arm. I'm, I'm, I'm no, there's no shame to my game at all. I will tap if I feel like my life is endangered. I have, a, I have a family to protect. I mean, you know, if my arm is getting tight spot, I'd tap. But, no, as far as it's breaking me, that, that's, that's not going to happen. That's, it's never happened before. It's not going to happen again. The only way you will stop me is to defeat me. And the only way that you're going to beat me is if you're just God-given better, better talent than me because you're not going to out-train me. You're just, it's not going to happen. I'm a, I drive 45 minutes to my gym four days a week so I can stand here and have interviews with people like you so people can understand the talent that I have.